Good afternoon. I'm Mayor Craig Moe providing you with your weekly update from the City of Laurel. First, let me tell you about the City's new Coronavirus Response Hub, located at coronavirus.cityoflaurel.org. This hub provides you with all the information from the federal, state, county, and Laurel to include maps, data, and other resources all in one location. Thanks to the Department of Information Technology, the GIS section, for all of their work on the Coronavirus Response Hub. I want to acknowledge two of our departments in the City of Laurel and read some proclamations to them as well. The first is Proclamation 2020-8, whereas the Office of Municipal Clerk is the oldest among public servants, and whereas the Office of Municipal Clerk provides the professional link between the citizens, the local governing bodies and agencies, and the government at all levels. Whereas municipal clerks have pledged to be ever mindful of their neutrality and impartiality, rendering equal service to all. And whereas municipal clerks continually strive to improve the administration of the affairs of the Office of Municipal Clerk, throughout participation in educational programs, seminars, workshops, and the annual meetings of their state, providence, county, cities, and international professional organizations. Now, therefore, I, Craig A. Moe, the mayor of the city of law, do hereby proclaim the week of May the 3rd through May the 9th, 2020, as Municipal Clerks Week in the city of Laurel and encourage all citizens to extend appreciation to our municipal clerks, Maryland clerks, and clerks around the world for their key services they provide and perform and their exemplary dedication to the communities they represent. Ms. Kimberly Rao, a longtime clerk of the City of Laurel, will accept the proclamation and say a few words. Kim? Thank you, Mayor Mo. On behalf of myself, Ms. Crook, Ms. Green, Ms. Navarro, and Ms. Barno, I accept this proclamation. All five of us are members of this outstanding association, and we're very grateful to the mayor and city council for allowing us to belong to this association, receive training through them, and even during the pandemic, um, the COVID-19 pandemic, they are offering online, free online webinars for all of their members to participate in. So I accept the proclamation and appreciate the opportunity to be able to be a, a member of such an outstanding organization. Thank you. The second proclamation, 2020-9, whereas in 1962, President John F. Kennedy designated May the 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which that date falls as Police Week. And whereas our law enforcement personnel are dedicated to their communities they serve to transform neighborhoods despite facing daily threats, public safety officers embrace innovation and innovative approaches to improving and upholding the rule of law. Whereas our officers put their lives on the line to protect others, sometimes making the ultimate sacrifice. One death is too many, and every death is a deep loss to the officer's family, colleagues, and community. The service of all who worn the badge will never be forgotten. Now, therefore, I, Craig A. Moe, the mayor of the city of Laurel, do hereby proclaim May 10th through May the 16th, 2020, in the city of Laurel, and invite all and encourage all citizens to greet and thank their police officers who serve our community. Chief Russell Hamill of the Laurel Police Department will accept the proclamation, and I'll ask the chief to say a few words as well. Chief. Mayor, on behalf of the men and women of the Laurel Police Department, to you, the, the council, and to the community, we really want to thank you. This means a great deal to us. Um, this week's a, a tough week for law enforcement, remembering mostly the fallen officers that have, that have given the supreme sacrifice across this country, indeed across the world. Um, it means a great deal to us on this police department that Mayor Mo and the council recognize uh, those sacrifices and the daily sacrifices our officers make in performing their sworn duties. So, Mayor, thank you, and I'll take this back and make sure everybody sees it. 
Thanks to Ms. Rao and uh, Chief Hamill for accepting their proclamations. Uh, Chief, please pass along our thanks to your officers who day in and day out um, put their lives on the line in the city of Long. We appreciate that and the work that they do. Today, our numbers for Prince George's County on the virus uh, are confirmed cases of COVID-19 are 9,811. Cases of those who have passed away are 327 and hospitalizations are 1,797. Let me also break down the city of Laurel and the surrounding zip codes as I've done in the past. The Laurel 20707 is 316 confirmed cases. Laurel 20708 is 288 cases. And Laurel Anne Arundel County 20724 are 173 cases and Laurel Howard County 20723 or 193 cases. Let me also remind everyone to make sure that you practice social distancing. Make sure you're wearing a face covering that covers your mouth and your nose. These are proven ways that we are going to be able to stop the spread and see our numbers go down. On Monday, May the 4th, the City Council held a special meeting on my proposed FY21 operating budget and capital improvement plan. At the meeting, the council adopted the FY21 budget and CIP. The total operating budget for FY21 was 36419488 and the capital improvement program, the CIP, totaled 4457738 for new projects and 10335343 in reauthorization for projects that are already underway. My thanks go out to the City Council for your support, your guidance, and working with the administration to adopt this balanced budget that provides for no tax increase and that provides for the services the community needs and deserves. Uh, Laurel City Council President Keith Sidnor has announced the following meeting schedule for the Mayor and City Council meetings as the city continues to conduct business in a virtual environment during the COVID-19 pandemic. On Monday, June the 8th, work session will start at 5.30 and the regular Mayor and City Council meeting will begin at 6 p.m. On July the 13th and July 27th, a 5.30 work session will start with a 6 p.m. regular meeting of the Mayor and City Council. Public comment can be submitted in writing to the Laurel Clerk at kral at laurel.md.us or call during the public uh, hearing at the, the meetings that I gave you above at 240-294-1308. Questions, please contact the clerk, Kim Rao, at 301-725-5300, extension 2120. Although we did pass the FY21 budget and CIP, I do want to caution that for the next two budget cycles, it's going to be very difficult. Some tough decisions will have to be made on funding, uh, services, and our programs. But I know working together, we'll be able to get through this. Laurel continues to see projections showing an increase in confirmed cases for at least the next two weeks. We are following Governor Hogan's safe, gradual, and effective Maryland Strong Roadmap to Recovery. You can read more about his plan at governor.maryland.gov backslash coronavirus. Laurel's government remains open for business as we are working on Laurel's plan to bring back staff, open our facilities, and restart programs. This will only be done when Laurel meets the appropriate building blocks as outlined by Governor Hogan's Maryland Strong Roadmap to Recovery. I encourage you to read it and stay tuned. I have established a COVID-19 disaster financial management team, which includes members of the city council, city staff, and members of the general public and others. The DFMT, as it's better known, will be responsible for the analysis of documentation required to prepare the city for a complex process of applications to FEMA for reimbursement through the Public Assistance Program and the CARES Act. The Honorable Michael R. Les will chair this team. I am hopeful that the city will be able to recoup funds 
that we have used to prepare for and respond to the COVID-19. I also want to make sure that I send my thanks out to all of our partners who are helping feed the Laurel community. Please visit our website to find out more about those partners, their times, and the days that you can pick up um, food. I have not forgotten about those individuals who have called me to ask about uh, the city setting up a, an account for uh, donations to be made, monetary donations. Uh, that is in the works. Um, as we get closer and it gets established, we'll make sure we send out a press release uh, to let individuals who want to donate financially um, where they can donate to and how the check should be made out. The city's blood drive on May the 7th went very well. The Red Cross advised us that they had 39 total donors. First-time donors were 16. Let me congratulate all those first-time donors. Units of blood collected were 30 for a potential lives saved of 90. Great work by the community of Laurel. Look uh, for our announcement in the coming weeks of my first telephone conference call to the community of Laurel. You can listen in. You can ask questions. You can learn more about what we're doing here in the city. This is another interactive program we're setting up for the community, so stay tuned. I always like to remind you before I end our uh, message here this week, we have several telephone hotlines that we have set up and you can use to ask questions or for assistance. Our emergency operations center is 240-294-1314. Our senior information hotline is 240-517-7974. Our Spanish information hotline is 240-805-3167. And our business information hotline is 301-356-3876. A few programs to remind you of as well. Our first is Takeout Tuesday, which we acknowledge every Tuesday here in the city. We encourage you to use our local restaurants. But more importantly, we want you to shop local during these very difficult times. And remember that it comes back into the community when you shop local. Don't forget about our health care gratitude challenge on our social media platforms. Let us know if you have a special health care worker that you'd like for us to acknowledge and thank. Send us their photo and their name to social media at laurel.md.us. We also have our wonderful chat with a senior citizen program. We also remind you three times a week, uh, we send out reminders for you to call your elderly relatives or friends at 7.30 to check on them and to reconnect. We also are asking senior citizens who'd like a call on Sunday evenings at 7.30 to sign up for the program. If you'd like to volunteer to chat with a senior citizen or know of a senior who could benefit from this weekly call, please leave their name and phone number for us at 725 Five three hundred extension 2110. Let me repeat that, 301-725-5300, extension 2110. Or you can also send us an email at cmjohnson at laurel.md.us. Again, cmjohnson at laurel.md.us. I encourage you to follow along with one of our many social media platforms to stay informed and update it. I encourage you to check out the hub that I talked about in the beginning of our program. We have a long way to go, and it will require all of us working together because we're all in this together. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Thank you for your emails, your phone calls, and for working with us during these very difficult times. Until next week.